there was suddenly a whole opening to new values, modern values to the world. They were making market movies, uh, ex exploitation films. Couldn't help but uh, draw on those tensions. I mean, the quiet revolution sparked the, I suppose it could be called the loud revolution. The separatist movement kidnapped the minister, kidnapped the British envoy, consul. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of people died and they had the War Measure Act promulgated by Mr. Trudeau. They Canada Prime Minister and we saw the tanks and the army in Montreal. Horror in genre, it kind of allows you to kind of deal with some big issues in a way that's um, still fun. So the tax shelter basically helped a lot of different Canadian movies get made. Uh, some good, some bad, but some really bad. Without the tax shelters, I don't think we would have had Canadian cinema at all. I've even heard stories about people coming with garbage bags full of cash and giving them out. Cinema, in order to stay relevant, has to keep evolving. It has to, it has to be relevant. To dig deep, we just need different voices. We need more diverse voices. It's filmmakers like that and movies like that that are challenging audiences to accept something different. The horror genre is almost like a Canadian staple. So I almost feel that it's like a Canadian prophecy. Yes. Whether it was sex, blood, political manifestos, it was all part of that quiet revolution.